All right, now here are some brand new features which are coming to WhatsApp application. Currently, these features are available on the beta version of WhatsApp. If you have already registered for beta, you will be able to experience these brand new features. Currently, the beta version I have here on the CS23 Ultra is 2.23.13.6. WhatsApp has been constantly adding new features to this application and in this video I'm going to talk about a couple of brand new ones which we have recently received. First thing is when you open the application you can see the new message icon has been renewed. Earlier we had this circular design and now we have got this brand new squircle shaped icon and it does the same thing there is nothing new with this icon just the shape and size has been changed. When you tap on the icon you can see we can directly add a new contact now. Earlier we could just see new group, new community and contacts on WhatsApp. Now you can see new group, new contact by tapping on which you can directly add a new contact here and save it and then chat right from here. That's something which was added a few days ago. Let's go back. I will select a contact here. Now there is some improvements when you're sending the images or video files or any media content to a particular contact. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let me tap on this plus button to add the media. I'll select gallery and I will open this folder here. I'll select a particular image here. Now you see the selections are depicted in numbers. Earlier we could just see that right mark or the tick mark. We wouldn't really know how many files have been selected but now as and when you select a particular file, it shows them in numbers. You will know exactly how many files you are selecting. That is really useful and this was much needed. Not sure if it is already made available on the stable version. Do let me know in the comment section below. Right now this feature is available on the beta version and we will have to wait to get this on the stable version. Now let's go back. Now in the chat section, I will just tap on this three dot button here on the top right corner. Here you can see we have got a brand new feature called new broadcast. Again, this was added a few days ago, but I could not see this particular feature for some time i'm not sure why was that but now i can see new broadcast option you can tap on this and select the contacts to broadcast your message you can select multiple contacts here it is showing 0 of 256 has been selected and it also sees only the contacts with my contact number in their address book will receive the messages which i'm going to send through this new broadcast feature but this is a very nifty feature whenever we want to send a message to multiple people at once we don't really have to create a group we can directly tap on new broadcast and select the contacts that you have and send it right from here that is pretty cool the next feature is hd image feature which is going to support sharing of the images up to 11 megapixels which means we can share high quality images directly when we select the images from your gallery and send it to the contacts. We don't really have to select file format to select the images in actual size. We can now send high resolution images. Now this feature has not arrived on my phone yet. These features were discovered by Webeta Info and these screenshots were shared by them. I'm still waiting for this feature on the WhatsApp version that I have here on my phone. As you can see here on the screenshot when you select an image, we get an option to select standard quality or HD. And on the top also we have got this HD icon which can be selected. Another new feature which was announced a couple of weeks ago was called WhatsApp channels which are one way broadcast method which enables people to follow updates from people or the brands. As you can see these images show right below the status. The channels are available here. You will be able to get some updates from the private channels or other people. It looks more like Facebook or Instagram but works in a different way. As of now I haven't got this feature yet. As soon as it arrives I will keep you guys posted about this. The next feature which is coming to WhatsApp is adding a username to the profile. Again this was spotted by Webeta Info. As you can see in the screenshot when you go to the profile you will be able to select a WhatsApp username. This works exactly like Instagram or Facebook's user ID. We will be able to use these profile names in different ways. Again this feature is not available currently on my phone. Let's wait for it. As soon as I get it I will keep you guys posted. Apart from these recently released features I did make a couple of videos on uh, link other devices where we can link multiple devices from the same account even if you don't have sim card on the other phone. If you have missed that video, I will post a link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. I'm sure many more features are going to arrive on WhatsApp beta. So if you're someone who is using WhatsApp, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I do create contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, iPhones as well as Pixel phones. So if you want to know your phone better, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers, bye-bye.